हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ शाबाज हियर वेलकम टू टेस्पर्ट एम बी ए प्रेप इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टैटिक पार्ट विच इज यूजफुल फॉर मेनी एग्जाम्स लाइक टिस नेट सी मैट एस एस सी एंड मेनी अदर एग्जाम्स सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग स्टैटिक जी के पार्ट सो टूडे अवर टॉपिक विल बी जनरल साइंस इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द विटामिनस सो वॉट इज विटामिनस why they are useful to our human body and what are the types of vitamins what are soluble vitamins we will see here fat soluble vitamins and what are the functions of vitamins and one of the fact i need to discuss today uh, because many people are in illusion that uh, vitamins will provide calories to our body so today we will discuss about all these details in this video lecture so let's begin without any delay so basically we will start from the definition so what is vitamin see friends vitamins are organic compounds okay remember there are two type of compounds organic and inorganic compounds okay the organic compounds that our body does not make it on its own that's why we have to supply externally uh, have you seen many doctors are giving the tablets uh, many you know uh, the body builders are using some supplements right many food we eat we have the vitamins in that but basically i want to say that these vitamins we should add externally to our body it, it will not produce uh, you know inside the body okay why they are essential because they are essential for providing a good health and necessary for many life function okay so what we obtain food what we eat we have vitamin supplements they will all add it to in our body and it will help for many life functions so who coined the term vitamin this is very very important question because it will directly ask you in many competitive exams because uh, especially in ssc or tis net exams okay so they will directly ask you question who coined the term vitamin then they will give four options you have to select one of them the answer is casimir funk okay so you remember this the answer is casimir funk and note this is very important point to which i uh, stated this in uh, initial that is vitamins don't provide calories and energy to body remember okay so because uh, many of my friends uh, who who are uh, having uh, eating this tablets for uh, you know doctors has written many tablets for them as a supplements they initially considered themselves that they are gaining energy and calorie to their body but basically uh, they will provide a good health and help many jo uh, functions of our body to run smoothly so what is the types of vitamins uh, this is very important topic today we are going to discuss now so there are two types one is fat soluble vitamins second one is water soluble vitamins so fat soluble vitamins again classified into vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k this is very important point because uh, they will uh, this uh, from this also the examiner will frame uh, frame the questions okay so remember there are four uh, parts there are four categories in fat soluble vitamins that is vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k clear next move on to water soluble vitamins okay here it comes vitamin c all vitamin b here vitamin b again classified into vitamin b1 vitamin b2 vitamin b3 so whatever the categories which comes under the vitamin b they are all called water soluble vitamins okay clear so fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins so what is water soluble vitamins okay so what we have seen the most famous tablets where all our elders will eat that b complex okay we have seen the b complex tablets right it consist of the b complex vitamins in that and vitamin c also and this water soluble vitamins cannot be stored in the human tissues okay so how much it can be extract it will extract the body will extract from that and remaining it will excrete it through our urine clear it cannot be stored over in our human tissues okay whereas fat soluble vitamins are different when compared to the water one okay so basically whenever you have uh, whenever you see the people who are fat okay, you will say that ha bhai ye mota ho chuka hai abhi right so iska matlab ye hai ki uske paas uske body mein fat jam chuka hai the body has stored the fat okay so that means the body is storing whatever uh, amount it was using the remaining amount is storing into the under the tissues and the liver okay this means they can accumulate and save for later use okay so it can be used for the uh, some other purpose and it can be uh, later use can be used okay so this is uh, vitamin and natural sources 
so i know it is difficult to remember all the things which are in table uh, but try to remember uh, at least one or two uh, sources so that you can whenever you, uh, the examiner ask about this question you can easily uh, you know rectify that one okay you can easily eliminate so let's begin uh, vitamin a that is fat soluble vitamin the what uh, the natural resources are orange squash carrots pumpkin leafy vegetables spinach and liver spinach or spinach whatever you call it vitamin d natural resources were fish egg liver mushrooms clear okay next vitamin e consists of many fruits and vegetables not specifically but uh, many fruits and vegetables consist of vitamin e and k again x liver leafy green vegetables spinach etc so here you can see uh, so vitamin a have some common sources vitamin k also has common sources so it does not mean that you uh, read and uh, remember everything if you read vitamin a all automatically you are covering the vitamin k okay if you read vitamin d that is fish and egg it is also covered in the vitamin k okay so this is the technique you should remember how you can remember and uh, you know throw it in the exam next uh, water soluble vitamin i said you water soluble vitamin are vitamin c and all vitamin b okay clear so first we will remember first we will see the vitamin c what is it because it is easy to remember right and vitamin b we have lot of things to remember so vitamin c is nothing but many fruits and vegetable liver simple f v l okay f v l like you remember ipl like f fruits v for vegetables l for liver khatam then we'll go for vitamin b so i said with all vitamin b is nothing but b1 b2 b3 b5 right b6 b7 okay so 1 2 3 will be there 4 is eliminated 6 is there 7 is there 8 is also eliminated okay so you can remember that 4 plus 4 is 8 so both 4 and 8 are removed so vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 b12 what are the sources b1 is pork oatmeal brown rice liver x vegetables and potatoes this is a b1 and whereas b2 uh, just a minute i will show you with the writing also yeah mm. right and b2 is dairy products bananas green beans asparagus okay and vitamin b3 it's a meat fish eggs vegetables mushrooms and tree nuts okay and vitamin b5 again meat okay so see here b3 and b5 are somewhat similar b3 and b5 meat is there broccoli is there avocados is also there okay and b6 again similar meat is a common in b3 b5 b6 vegetables are all common in b3 b6 right and b7 is nothing but raw egg yolk liver peanuts and b9 is leafy vegetables liver bread cereal and meat and other animal products whereas uh, vitamin c i told you right many fruit fel fruits vegetables and liver so yeah i understand because reading one time it uh, not uh, you know uh, you cannot remember about this but you can s uh, just uh, before going to exam you can just refer that uh, so that you can have a simple similar idea also so that you can eliminate in the answer writing okay in the whatever the options they have given in the exam you can eliminate it easily okay so now we will discuss about the disease what uh, causes due to the deficiency of vitamins this you need to remember friends okay because vitamin a causes if uh, there is a, any deficiency uh, of any person is suffering from vitamin a deficiency it will cause night blindness okay and uh, chemical name of vitamin a is retinol carotenoids sometime the chemical name will also ask in the examination because i have seen many papers previous papers of ssc examination uh, most of the question they ask about the chemical name of vitamin b7 and vitamin a okay so vitamin b7 we will see here also vitamin a is retinol okay and uh, the deficiency of the vitamin a will cause night blindness next we have vitamin b1 that is uh, chemical name is thiamine okay the deficiency disease will be very very okay this is also a very famous uh, disease okay and uh, vitamin b2 is riboflavin okay vitamin b3 is niacin which causes uh, pellagra vitamin b5 is a pathonic acid okay parathesia is a disease which caused due to the deficiency of uh, vitamin b5 the most important thing i used to say because i observed from previous examination is vitamin b7 okay so biotin they will ask more okay what is the chemical name of vitamin b7 it's a biotin 
okay and vitamin c they have also uh, many state exams which occur no so in that exams also they have asked about the chemical name of vitamin c that is ascorbic acid okay and the deficiency of this vitamin c will cause will cause scurvy okay clear okay next we have vitamin b9 folic acid ho gaya birth defects okay and vitamin d the deficiency will cause rickets vitamin e the deficiency will cause hemolytic anemia okay so these are the few important things which i told you okay if you are remembering all the things is well and good it's excellent it is very appreciable but if you want to remember only the important uh, uh, you know chemical names and important deficiency disease which is uh, repeatedly asked by the examiner when you see the previous paper then you can go for vitamin a this is repeatedly asked okay vitamin b1 vitamin b7 vitamin c okay clear clear this slide let's uh, move on with the next slide so what is the function of the vitamins okay so we have seen earlier that vitamin does not uh, provide any calories or energy to the body then what is the function what it will do why it is useful to us okay so we are reading about this chapter now in general science vitamins the scientist has uh, you know casimir funk who has uh, discovered the vitamin right he has some concept in his mind unnecessarily nobody will uh, uh, discover any chapter right any concept so vitamins are very much necessary to build up the resistance of the body against the diseases okay so whatever you eat vegetables fruits uh, this meat egg whatever we have read just now so it will provide a resistance okay it will provide immunity power against the disease nowadays you know how the immunity is playing an important role in our bodies right next it will prevent and cure various diseases caused by the deficiency okay just now we have uh, uh, go through this uh, table we have read all the deficiency diseases which caused due to the uh, deficiency of these uh, vitamins okay and it will also help that digestion utilization of mineral salts and carbohydrates in the body until and unless this mineral salts carbohydrates will not dissolve the our body will not properly get nutritious food okay it will not work properly what are the functions so we remember starting slide we have uh, read that vitamins help to uh, you know maintain the functions of our body next stimulate stimulate and give strength to the digestive and nervous system obviously and help maintenance of proper health and normal growth and this is vitamin cheat sheet okay so it clearly explained and it is easy to remember also uh, because they are uh, one side they have written the good sources and other side they have written what is it used for okay vitamin a for healthy vision skin bones teeth and reproduction okay so many uh, elders were saying to children also eat carrot you have a clear vision right gajar khaiye aapko jo aankhon ki roshni badhegi is tarah se aapne suna hoga next vitamin b1 is a thiamine it help convert food into energy okay and it is critical for nerve function also next uh, vitamin b2 helps convert the food into a similar thing and uh, vitamin c we will see here act as a antioxidant okay can you see here vitamin c is an antioxidant and helps to make a new cells improves the immune system this is very important okay and vitamin c uh, present in uh, fruit juices okay pepper broccoli tomato spinach okay in all this uh, food these are the sources for the vitamin c and vitamin d is a strengthen and helps the form bones vitamin e act as an antioxidant again right so these are the few uh, things which were useful for our body and uh, we should uh, conserve we should eat all these things so that we can have a healthy life so this is about uh, today's lecture friends and if you want this ppt to be download you can uh, download our uh, testpad app okay it's a mobile app you can install it and can have an access to this ppt okay so this is about today's lecture hope uh, you will find uh, some useful information and uh, i have discussed many things Uh, which are directly asked in the examination i have told you many points the vitamin a what is called okay what is the chemical name uh, vitamin c what is the chemical name which have been asked uh, frequently in many competitive exams right and there is a chance to ask in the tisnet exams also so this is the end of lecture and uh, next we will meet in next lecture next topic till then take care bye bye